All right, Coach, uh, this week you are able to start uh, summer practices. Uh, how exciting is it to get back on the court? Well, it's, uh, it, it's exciting to get back on the court. You know, we're getting them all moved in, getting them in their classes. Uh, we'll specifically work with our strength and conditioning coach, Matt Tyler, Thursday and Friday. And then we look to get into individual uh, basketball and fundamentals and all of our shooting progressions, and we'll get into that starting next week on Monday. But we're, uh, we're excited. We feel like this is one of the most talented teams that UT, UTPA has ever put on the floor. We have athleticism. We have a little size now. Hopefully, we still got two scholarship opens. We're trying to fill those as we speak. And so we're looking to put together a pretty good team. Uh, the second year at the helm, um, how important is it to build on the successes from last season? Well, we had limited success. And I'm, I'm very happy that we were able to tie the most wins in the program history but we got to think bigger and better and that's what we're what we're going to try to do and it all comes with work it, it's a uh, it's a job these girls <laughs> excuse me I can uh, you know I can uh, paint the picture of a yellow brick road but we, we've got a lot of work to do and we're working around different camps so uh, our volleyball camp which I support highly I mean we, I really enjoy our volleyball program then we have two cheerleading camps. Our cheerleaders are excellent. You know, they're second to none in the country. And so we got to dodge and work around them, but we'll get our workouts in. And they may be at odd times and maybe on the weekends, but we're going to get our workouts in. And we're going to continue to build on this program and see if we see if we can't get to the postseason play. That's what we're after. You have a, a big core from last year's team coming back this year. Um, how important is it for them individually to take that next step with, with their second year? Well, we've got our entire starting lineup back, uh, which is uh, very good. But I'm going to tell you, they better bring their A game because we've got some kids coming in here that uh, are used to playing a lot, and they're going to try to continue to play a lot. So the competition will be very good. I think our depth will be excellent. Uh, some of the girls who didn't start last year are also coming back, and a lot of them have worked hard, and they're trying to get their game better. So we should have uh, a lot of great competition. and. Like I said, we need to bring our A game every day. Uh, you mentioned the, the new girls coming in. Um, how important is it for this time, this point of the year, to, to, for them to get uh, acclimated to the surroundings? Well, they will. Uh, you know, the main thing I want to do is get them comfortable academically, you know, make sure they know where their classes are, the routine, getting up to eat, go to breakfast, things along this line. But the thing that uh, we'll continue to do is, is work with them and get them to know our terminology, get them to know our transition offense and defensive schemes and our defensive schemes in particular you know we're going to run the really tight man-to-man -man and they'll learn uh, the the technical terms that we always use in coaching when I'm on the floor and we'll just proceed from there and get better.